Uh oh, you there? Get on top. <laughs> another one, another one bites the dust. That's not one. And another one, chill. Another one, another one bites the dust. Sit still. Another no. one, yeah, another one, another no. one bites the dust. He ain't gonna call the cops. And another one, Psych. another one. Another one bites the dust. Hey. Time to type the pull up at your house and read off your screen name account. Make it come clean. I even make it call your spouse. So why don't you come on out and see what we're talking about? We got your own camera. But first, is anyone in the house? Look, we got your chat logs. We got you by the balls. And when the police pull up, we give them to the law. It's the big homie Tom from Colorado. He on the stroll. Pulling up on bed from Colorado Pet Patrol. Another one. Another one bites the dust That's not one. And another one Chill. Another one Another one bites the dust so sit still. Another no. one yeah, Another one Another no. one bites the dust he ain't gonna call the And another one Psych. Another one Another one bites the dust Royce K did it so you know it got a slap I see him. I see him. Let's go. I see the blue scooter right there. Damn, he's gonna roll off on me, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Game time. You ready for this shoot? I got him. 100%. Go ahead. Go ahead with the, the locals. Hey there. How you doing, man? Good. Can I talk to you for a minute? Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. You want to talk back here somewhere so oh, nobody sees? Oh, well, I just want to talk to you about what you're doing today. Oh, do, you want, do you want to just come? Do you want to go somewhere like right here? I just don't want nobody to call the police on you. Oh, no, I'm just riding around. Uh, you got to be honest with me, man. Who's that? Me. Okay. What, what are you doing right now? You got to be honest with me, man. Or I, I am. Okay. So, so just be honest with me, my, name, my name's Tommy, I'm with Colorado Ped Patrol. We monitor the online internets to make sure adults aren't hanging out with children. Oh, I don't have no dog. No, adults that are not hanging out with children. Make a phone call, call it. Yeah, I know, who are you meeting right now, Adair? Nobody, I ride around. Make a phone call. What's that? I ride around every day. Well, you just told somebody you were on a little blue scooter. Oh yeah, that's my friend I posted me. Okay, how old's that friend? That's what I'm here for. Oh, she told me 13, but I didn't know. She told you 13? Yep. What are you doing? What are you doing hanging out with 13-year-olds, man? No, no, I'm not. I just I just talked to her on Facebook. Sure, sure. That's it. Well, it's a dating website, but not Facebook. Yeah. Do you talk to a lot, a lot of little girls, but no. just a couple here and there? No. What happened with this one today? No, she was just coming to visit me. That's it. Coming to visit. You guys were going to cuddle and kiss and things like that, right? No. Come on, Adair. I don't, I don't kiss the dough. I'm gonna show you what you said, okay? Did you say you loved her? Yeah, on Facebook. No, it's not Facebook, but it's a dating app that you found her on, right? Yeah. What do you find girls on dating apps for? Try to get me a long-term relationship. Yeah, if you wanna go on this other side, I don't want them to call on us. Oh. Just, just right on the other side of the fence. This way though, this way. I don't want you, I don't want them to call on us. I don't, just around the corner here. I just don't, we're on their private property. I don't want them to call the police, you know? And as long as you're honest, it could be all right. And then just turn right into this little area. You got it? Yeah. Four wheel drive, huh? All right, and just right back here. So yeah. so again, I'm not here to harm you. I record for your safety and mine, obviously. Yeah, yeah see what happened Let's was. stop right here. Just, see, we're good. See what happened was, me, me and this girl was talking on Facebook. Okay. I did. I can't hear you. That road's loud, huh? All right, so it wasn't Facebook, though. It wasn't Facebook. It was a dating app. Oh, I can't remember. Okay, but what dating app? Do you go on dating apps a lot? That's good. No. No, just this one time? Okay, what were you going to do with this child, though? Nothing, just watch movies. What, what it, so just watch movies, and then what else did you say you were going to do with her? Nothing. I have all the messages, my friend. I have them all, all right? I don't remember saying that. Do you drink a lot? Do you do drugs? No. No, so, so. No, no, I smoke cigarettes and 
I only drink on weekends. Okay. How long have you been talking to this child for? Only three days. Three days? That's it? Yep. Okay. And, and, and in the three days, what did you tell her, though? After that, I didn't tell her nothing else. You didn't tell her nothing else? Nope. You didn't tell her that you wanted to make out with her and marry her and do all that kind of stuff? No. You got to be honest with me, man, because... I guess I said all that. You did? What, yeah. so, so, so what did you say? That's, I'm trying to see how honest you're going to be. Well, I told her, I told her I, I, I'll, I'll marry her. Okay. And she told me her age, and I didn't know she was... Well, she told you right away that she was, that she was 13, and you said okay, I right? I said okay, but I didn't know. But after that, you said you, were, you wanted to marry this child, right? Yes. Would you have been good to her? Yes. So, so you wouldn't have been, like, creepy or nothing like that? You, you would have married her and treated her good? Yeah. Do you, do you think that's okay to marry a 13-year-old? No. No? Okay. Do you, have, do you have mental issues? No. No. So you know what you're doing? Because yeah. you didn't want her to tell her grandma, right? Why didn't you want her to tell her grandma? I didn't know she was going to tell her that. I know, I know that. But why didn't you want her to tell her grandma? Did you think you could get in trouble? Maybe. Yeah. You don't want to get in trouble, right? No. Nope. Okay, so you told her don't tell grandma because grandma might, you know, tell somebody. How you doing, bud? Grandma might tell somebody, right? Yeah. So, do you meet children often? No. Do no, just the first one. First one? But I thought she was older. Well, what, what, did, what did she tell you? She was 13, right? Yeah. So, what, why would you think she's older if she told you she was 13? I don't know. I don't know. I do not know her age. Right. And then remember today, what did she tell you right before you got here? She was 13 again, right? No, she never told me that. You asked her if she had an ID? Yeah, in order for me to check her in. What do you got to check her? You got to check people in at your yep. place? So how are you going to check her in when she's 13 and she has no ID? Well, she would have had to go back home. So you have her come on the bus to meet you. You're at the corner waiting for her. You said that you were going to, you wanted to be with her forever, right? Yes. You still do? Do you really love her? You can be honest. It's okay. No, not at that age. Well, why'd you tell her you loved her and you wanted to cuddle her and make out with her? And No, I would, I'm trying to get myself into a relationship. I'm tired of being bored. Yeah. So do you have a hard time meeting adults? Yeah. So do you figure it'd be a little easier to go for a younger one? or? No, because I think that's wrong. Well, if you think it's wrong, why are you asking a 13-year-old for sexy pics? You know what a sexy pic is, right? Yeah, I'll, re I'll remember telling her. I just said, send me a pic. You said sexy pic like 19 times. <laughs> a lot of times. Not really. You said it about five times. She's wrong. She's wrong? Yeah. Why is she wrong? I never... Do you want me to show you the message? Do you want me to show it to you? I believe you. <laughs> so she's not wrong. You're wrong, right? Do you do a lot of things that you don't remember sometimes, Adar? Maybe. So how, have you maybe been with the child and you don't remember? No. No? Have you ever been arrested for this before? No. Nope. You're not on the registered sex offender list? Okay. Have you ever been arrested before? Never? Okay. So so why are you chancing this, my man? What are you, what are you doing? I don't know. Make a, making stupid choices? Yeah. That's it. But you know what this could do to a child, right? Yeah. What could it do? Put her in a foster home. Yeah, well, I mean, foster home, but it could mess her up for the rest of her life, right? Yeah. Just because you want to get a quick girlfriend and have, you know, a quick relationship. I mean, at least you said you would have married her and treated her good, but does your mind tell you that marrying a 13-year-old's not okay? Nope. So age doesn't really matter to you as long as it's just a girl? No, no, I've ever date somebody that's between 30, 40, 50. Okay. Then, then why let yourself go to a 13-year-old? I just didn't know that was her age. If you're going to stick with that, man, I'm going to have to let the police figure this out, you know? Because you knew, you told her not to tell her grandpa, grandma. If, if you thought she was an adult, why would you not want her to tell grandma? I didn't want to get in trouble. So, so you didn't want to get in trouble because you knew she was 13, right? Yeah, but I didn't know her at that time. She, she was that age. She told you right away, and then you said you didn't tell grandma, right? Right? Uh, and then you just said last night that I, I, I'm really excited to see you. I can't wait. Um, I want to take care of you. I won't hurt you. I want you in my life. We're going to kiss. We're going to cuddle. We're going to hold each other. I want you as my future wife. You're sick. Yes, I put all that I, to, to a 13-year-old. To a 13-year-old. Do you see why I'm here? Yeah. You know, do you have kids? No. No? 
You got a girlfriend? No. No? What is, what is this place right here? What is it? Which one? Where you live. What is that? No, I know. What is it? Is it like a... Apartment building. Apartment building. Yeah. Do you work? No, no. I got a job coach that's helping me get a job. Good. Do you, do you have roommates or something? Or? I hate roommates. So you live by yourself? Yeah. Is that like a homeless home? Like, is it like one of those? Um... Like a shelter? No. No? Okay. No, it's just a regular apartment building with good management. I stick to myself. I don't talk to nobody in there. Do you, do you have a caseworker? Yeah. Do you, what do you think they would think about you out here doing this kind of thing? Not good. Okay. Do you think we can give them a call to let them know what you're out here doing? How you doing, bud? No. Well, somebody's got to know what you're out here doing, right? To make sure that we don't do this again. I don't want you picking up a 13-year-old tomorrow, you know? What if another What if another 13-year-old comes I, I around? I'll let you talk to him. Okay. I just think somebody should know, right? Don't you agree? You've been outside for a while, huh? No, I just got here. Oh, did you? You weren't sitting outside a little earlier? No. Okay, okay. But you came out because she was getting off the bus. Yeah, I was just riding around. Yeah, well, she was getting off the bus is what, what really happened. But if that's your story, stick to it, man. It's just, we can't have people meeting with children. That's all. I'm not trying to be mean to you or nothing. I'm just telling you, we can't, we can't have this, man. Yeah, I, let me see if I can get her on the phone. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even really grabbing no 13 year old out here. Well, that's what, you're not doing that now because I stopped you, right? You can leave her a message. There's, she's not, she won't answer? No. Is this like, hello? You gotta wait till her voicemail comes hello? on. Hello. She answered. Do you, are you Adair's um, counselor? Yeah. So my name is Thomas Fellows. I'm with Colorado PED, PED Patrol. And I'm at the corner of Colfax and Sheridan with him. He was just outside attempting to pick up a 13 year old girl. And so I wanted to see if you wanted to, I don't know, maybe, I, I wanted to contact somebody to see who, who we could uh, maybe get this information to. Obviously, you know, DPD will be, you know, uh, notarized, but I mean, uh, um, they were called, but we wanted to see if like maybe he had a caseworker or somebody that could, I don't know, I could send this info to. been called yes yes they already have and they're on their way yes okay um why don't you give them my phone number and okay are you gonna stay for the interview? i i will so i can certainly when they get here i can give them your number and they can contact you then okay yeah if there's anything that i need to do yeah okay you can give them my phone number i will whatever information certainly and do you, okay. did you want to take my number down just in case? Sure. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, and can I have a little more information? So, so basically we have, we have decoys throughout the United States that are 13 years old on like dating websites and internets and stuff like that. He's been talking for about a week to a, who we thought to be a 13 year old child gave her the address to his uh, apartment and then was waiting for her to get off the bus. Obviously, we don't send a real child. We come out and then we just inform the local, um, you know, we didn't know the situation on this. That's why I wanted to let you know as well. Um, yeah, thank you for yeah. informing me. Um, yeah, I guess you have my number and if they... Okay. Okay. Thank you. I, I will do. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Here you go. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be honest, bud. You were you were out here to pick up a child, okay? I have all the messages. I'm gonna turn this into her and and into the DPD, okay? You're gonna have to talk to them, man. You can't be meeting with children, bud. Yeah. You you you're gonna say, oh, I wasn't picking up a little child. I was out here. How did I know you had a blue scooter? How did I know? How do you think I knew? Because you were you were texting people that 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 I work with, right? 
Well, I didn't know. No, I know you didn't know. You thought it was a 13 year old child at air. You can't do this, man. I know you get lonely, but you can't you can't meet children. Oh, I apologize. I know you apologize, but how do we make sure you don't ever do this again? I promise. I promise it won't happen no It's more. not gonna happen again. No. You, you you might get lucky, man, because you have a situation going on, but this could ruin your life. Yeah. Do you, you know if you if you get caught and you go to prison for this, what do you think would happen? You don't you couldn't make it there, man. I couldn't make it there, right? Yeah. So you're gonna have to talk to them. They are en route. Um, okay. So we'll just sit here and wait for him for a few minutes and you have to talk to him. But you got to be honest with you. You got to be honest, man. You know, like I said, I have all the messages. All right. Okay. We record everything, right? You've never met with a child ever before? No. First time? Just that lonely or what? First time that I heard of this. That you've heard of this? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think when you were trying to bring her up to the room, somebody would have saw that? I never even saw her when... You did it. You did it because we intercept it, man, and we come instead of her because this is a dangerous area to bring a 13-year-old to. Well, I apologize. Don't you agree? This is a bad area, right? Yeah. There's shootings here. There's burglaries, robberies, drug dealers, everything right here. Yeah. And you brought a 13-year-old over. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I appreciate that you're sorry. We just gotta, we just gotta make sure that you know that you don't do it again. Nope. All right. So. uh do you want to go sit by your building over there? Yeah. We could do that. We could do that. Because that's where they're coming anyway. I mean, you gave this girl your apartment number and everything. Right? That thing's fast. Hold on one second, guys. I'm trying to put my paper away. We're going to a sketchy, sketchy, sketchy area. And if, he, if he's got buddies, I need to have at least a buddy with me. There we go, there's the police right there. You have case, case workers here or there? Or no, is just, this just a regular apartment? Yeah. Is it okay? How you doing, sir? Hey there, is that a police department next door too? Yeah. Oh dang, you were gonna do this right in front of the police department? <laughs> oh no. Stay on the other side. That's what I thought, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. We'll just wait for him. Do you wanna sit in the sun or the shade? No, I think I'll go in the sun. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. We got our roller. Yeah, Crandall, I kind of felt this, dude. Honestly, I don't know why, but I kind of kind of felt this was going to be the situation. Don't know why. That's the police department, right? Yep, yep. That's what I thought. So it shouldn't take them long to get here, huh? You got any support around here, Adair? You got any family, any friends? Nope. Nobody? I don't need no friends. Well, you do, obviously. You said you're lonely, right? No? You just want a girlfriend? You just want a wife, huh? Yeah. No friends? Nope. Maybe there's better places to meet, you know, adults. I don't know. I don't know what kind of places you hang out on, but... How long would they take to get here? A few minutes. A few minutes. Yeah, how long would this take? A few minutes. They're just going to probably get your information, you know, make sure you don't do this again. I'm sure that's it. I think the police officer's coming right now, I think. He's right there, but I don't know it there. See him across, oh, you're, oh, don't fall, dude. He almost had a situation. We almost had a cart, a cart accident. There's, there's one across the street. Now, I don't know if he's coming for us, but they, they, were, they were called and they typically come out and have a word and just, you know, again, make sure that we don't do this again. There's another one right there. So we got two of them, huh? No, I have one. Here. Oh, I'm gonna ask you for one. I think this is my last one now. I think they're in the front. We'll wait. They should be coming. We just gotta. Oh, you're gonna back into that little hole again. That's cool. Yeah. 
Weren't you worried that you were doing this right in front of the police station? You weren't worried about that? I was, I was on that side. No, I know, but don't you think if they saw you with a 13-year-old girl, they would be like, what the heck is this man doing? He's not, I mean, you know, not good. Thank you. You're welcome. It's dangerous, man. Are you on the fifth floor? Is that where you're at? Yeah. All the way at the fifth floor? Yeah. And one person I hate up there. Who's that? The person I don't talk to. How would you? And that's why, and that's why I got my caseworker helping me to move out of this place. Well, you know, if you would have got in trouble, if you'd had a girl in there, you wouldn't be able to have a place. Registered sex offenders can't even get apartments half the time. Well, I don't know. I might want to take back that statement. You've never, you've never been caught with a child before? They're going to know. You ever tried? No. You weren't even scared, man. You were like, the only time you made any kind of comment that you were scared is when you said... Uh, the grandma comment because you didn't want her to tell her grandma because you didn't want to get in trouble What do you think would have happened if you got if she came over and you got caught? What do you think would have happened? I'd be in trouble. So, you know, it's wrong, right? Yeah. You're just you're just that lonely, huh? They should be coming here soon there there What are you going to do after today? Watch movies. You're just going to go back to normal life? Yep. Do you think maybe you probably should talk to somebody about why you tried to hang out with a child? No. Nope. No? No resentment? You don't think you did anything wrong? No. You think it's okay to do that, right? No. Nope. So you think you did something wrong? Maybe I did. Yeah, well you did. I'm telling you, it's a, in a lot of situations, it could be considered a felony. You know what a felony is, right? Yep. So. <clears throat> what if it was her dad or her brother or something, you know? It doesn't bother you at all? Yeah. Well, I think she set me up, though. Yeah. Oh, you want to get out of their way? Come on this way. Why do you think she set you up? Probably did. Okay. All that yeah. Why do you think she set you up? What, what, what do you think she set you up for? I don't know. You think it's the child's fault when they come hang out with an older man, or you think it's the older man's fault? My fault. Yeah, it is, man. Sounds like no accountability, Adar. Adair. Yeah. Blame it on the child, huh? You think she should get in trouble? Who do you think should get in trouble in this situation? I don't know. Okay. I'm just I'm just I asking. Wanna, uh, I don't want to answer all of that in front of people here. Yeah, okay. Well, that's why I walked over here. You don't want nobody to know. I get it. I understand that. People look down on that, don't they? Yeah. yeah well, I won't answer. I won't ask you no more until they go. I'm being pretty quiet and respectful though, right? And I'm not yelling or nothing. I know I'm probably annoying you and stuff, but you're number 377. See if I can get an update real quick. We got any update guys? What? I'm asking if we have any update. You're mini famous today, Adair. Mini famous. You got 3,700, uh, 2,500 people watching you. You're gonna have friends after today. <laughs> I'm not. No, you don't want friends. You putting me on TV? I don't. I don't have a TV show. Just Telemundo and ESPN. You ever heard of that? ESPN. You want to say anything to any of them or no? Are you erasing them? Are you erasing them? I don't know them people enough. No, I'm talking about the met. You erasing the messages right now? That looks. I, I got nothing to say to them. 
Well, they got something to say to you. They're saying stop, stop deleting. I'm not deleting. You're not? What are you doing? Just, just checking my pop-up. Yeah. You talking to any other girls? Only on uh, older women I do. Uh-huh. Is there some younger women on there too that you just don't talk to? So the only some, some of them, and I don't talk to them. Why'd you talk to this one then? What was so good about this one? I never saw her face before, though. Oh. So. What are you talking about? Remember all the pictures you said she was so sexy? Yeah. So you saw her face. What was her name? Do you remember? Chloe. So you know you know who she is. You saw her picture. You told her not to tell. You knew she was 13. And you were trying to sneak her up to your apartment for a movie and some cuddle and kissing and whatever else was going to happen, right? But you were going to marry her. And you were going to treat her good, so that's good. Yeah, when you delete the messages, man, it makes you look real guilty. I was scrolling up. I'm just, I'm just saying, did you already delete them before or no? No. So they're all still there? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, because when you delete them, the cops can undelete them. You know how they do that. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you're smart enough to know that, right? Damn, for the police department being right there, they take a long time, don't they? I don't know if one of them is over there. Yeah, when I was parked over there, there was a couple that left. I seen them leave. I don't know where they were going to, but I did see them leave. But we'll give them a few more minutes and then I'll try again, I guess. But they, they told us they were in route. So. Is there an inch, is there like a lobby for the police department? Nope. I was gonna say, we could we could wheel over there and. Okay. My down. Okay. okay. He's going to get a cigarette because I'm not giving him one. No. This guy's obviously, I mean, they're still dangerous, you guys, but he doesn't even understand like the gravity of what the fuck's going on. But I think that almost makes him more dangerous. You know what I mean? I think it makes him more dangerous because he just thinks he didn't do anything wrong. And this is the problem. He's going to, he's not going to go to jail, right? He is not going to go to jail because that's just Denver right now. But with his disability, they're gonna they're gonna just be like, well, you know, he, whatever, caseworker this, caseworker that. But they're not gonna they're not gonna change anything. So to me, that just like this is a problem that's not gonna be fixed, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to have hurt kids. Would they say no? You want me to ask her what she thinks about this or no? Okay. She's your friend. Was it, didn't you say that was your friend? Yeah. What would she think about this? Oh, no, that's a, that's a dude. Oh, oh, what would he think about this? I don't want nobody else to know about you. Why don't you want him to know? I'm, just, I'm asking, I'm just, me? I'm just asking. What? I'm not doing nothing to you. I'm just asking you a question. Why wouldn't you want him to know? I don't want nobody to know the business. No, they ain't got nothing to do with this. But don't you think people that are going after children, everybody should know? I don't, give, I don't care what you tell them. Okay. Well, I would only tell them what you said. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything different, right? I didn't, I didn't come pick you out of the... It wasn't like we're like, hey, we're going to go talk to Ed Air. You know, Germany, we... Y'all wasted my whole day. We wasted your day? Are you, are you mad because she's not here? No, I'm mad because... Where's the guys that supposed to be here the police we're waiting on them have you ever waited on the police before you know their time they're slow sometimes you know they're busy right but you act like i'm wasting your day but what would you have done to this child man you would have wasted her life at air you know what i mean okay i mean you're, you're mad at me but dude look what you were gonna do there's one more hopefully they're coming how many are we gonna see drive by before they show up they're not coming 
But you're getting mad at me, man. You were about to destroy this child. I don't hurt kids. You were going to. You were you were fixing to change that today, Adair. He don't care at all, man. That's sad. That kind of to me is like the worst of the worst is when people have zero, you know, accountability. You don't feel you did anything wrong. I'm wasting your day. And I was just asking you a question. I could have told everybody. I didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell nobody. I mean, you have, like I said, 2,600 people watching, but you don't know them, right? Everybody says you give zero fucks. Zero fucks. And you'll get away with this probably. How many times have you gotten away with it before? I've never done that. But you were gonna today. What if she was five? Would you watch a movie with a five-year-old? Nope. 13 as low as it will go? Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not gonna keep answering your questions. You don't have to answer any questions. You don't have to. But I, I just like to hear accountability, man. That's all. But fortunately for you and me, I'm not the police. I just... They call me a snitch, because I call them. What are you looking for, a cop? Where the hell they at? I don't know. Hey, can we can we see if we can get an update on them? Adair's, we're, we're wasting Adair's day. He's pissed off. He's, he's mad at me. You mad at me, Adair? No. Are you mad at yourself? I just don't think you understand how bad this is. I know it is. Well, good. I'm glad you know. So I'm trying to get this over with so I can go to my apartment. Yeah. You know some people in counties go to jail for this? Yeah. Hello. Hi, Tony. Hi. Yeah. Is that your nickname? What? I think she said pedo. No. Oh, I, I didn't know if that was like a nickname for you or something. Hope you never do this again, Adair. I hope you haven't hurt somebody before. No, I've never done that in my life. Okay. I, I hope to God that's true. But you don't think this is wrong, so. Yeah, how am I going to waste your whole day, right? Wasting your day. But I'm out here stopping it. Yeah, he doesn't know what he did, but he told he wanted her not to tell grandma. And and when I asked him, he said because he doesn't want to get in trouble. I just got a earpiece in. So, so he he knew what he was doing was wrong, clearly, or he wouldn't have asked her, you know, did you tell grandma, don't tell grandma type shit. But he was gonna marry her, so that, that makes it right. I'm gonna tell grandma. I'm telling, telling grandma. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I just don't wanna attract people over here. Not a very good neighborhood for, for shit like this. Yeah, guys, we're going to be sitting here for a minute. We're hoping they'll be here any minute. But if you could smash the like and uh, and if you want, tell Adair uh, what you think. And I'll tell him and see if he wants to listen to it. He might not because he said he doesn't know you guys. Well, I, I just don't want to attract attention towards me. You know what I mean? I don't really mind. Um, what he did today was... Was... Very bad for a, for a child. Yes, it's life. But he said he would have married her and and he knew she was 13, but then he didn't, but then he did, but then he didn't, so. We're just scooting around right now, waiting for the police. The police department is literally next door, you guys. It's on the other side of this building, but it's not like a where you can go inside. It's just like a substation or whatever. 
He doesn't have kids or grandkids, he says. But he doesn't hurt kids, so. He only wants to marry them and kiss and cuddle them over a nice movie. Was waiting for the bus for her to get off. So he was outside waiting for her uh, when I first got here. I seen him and I said, I think that's him on the, on the wheelchair. Uh, but we weren't sure. And then I showed somebody the picture and they said, yeah, he's on a, he's on a wheelchair. And then they said, blue wheelchair, because he said he's already erased the messages. So. But we didn't erase the messages, so we'll have the messages. Plus I got the chat logs in my hand. So he thinks he's Slick Rick, erasing messages. I'm looking at my phone phone. I know, but you already erased them. You probably erased them before I got here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know who you are, Adair. I wish I could believe you, but you just don't care, man. Or you don't understand. One of the two is, is a factual... Factual, you know, you know. Let's see. I just got an update. Hold on one second. They said. You got any pictures of naked girls on that phone? No. No. All right. So we're waiting on an update right now. I just wonder how you were gonna sneak her up there. That's what I'm confused about. How are you, buddy? He's not answering my questions no more, guys. He's mad at me. I wasted his day. He was all hot and ready, dressed up for a 13-year-old. He's mad at me because I, inter I intercepted that. Oh yeah, I guarantee it, guarantee it. Oh no, he told the decoy, because we couldn't find him, he told the decoy, he said, I'm, I'm on my blue scooter at the car dealership. I look down at the car dealership and what do you see? Blue scooter. Scooting for a 13 year old. But he doesn't want me to tell anybody his business. Because it's nobody's business but but his and the 13-year-old. I think every adult in this neighborhood should, should know. Every person in every apartment should know. Just in case they have kids. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll knock on all the doors and show the picture and say, be careful. Should I do that? No. Why? I just want to keep this out of the so it don't happen no more. You wouldn't want me knocking on doors? And say Adair was trying to meet with a 13 year old and show him. He just went out the easy way, Adair. Does that thing do any wheelies? Does that do any wheelies? No. Nope. Can't do any sweet tricks? He's just messaging away like this never happened. No, I'm on my Facebook. <laughs> yeah, cause you're busy, right? What's your name on Facebook? Adair. What? Germany. That's Adair Germany on Facebook? Yeah. Do you want new friends? Nope. I only talk to people that I know. And 13 year olds. A D A I R. Well, I'm gonna see if I can't talk to your your caseworker because this is clearly not an issue with you. It's more just a a bothersome situation where you're annoyed because you're away from your TV for 30 minutes. I can wait. 
wait. Well, I know you can wait, but you don't you don't understand how bad this is. If we were in another county, you possibly would be getting wheeled away, you know? But you've never been to jail before. Oh no, it's, re it's as real as it gets. <laughs> we have everything on him. Oh yeah, even if he did erase it, it doesn't matter. I apologize, guys. I'm annoying him. He don't want to talk to me. He, he just wants to get this over with. I hear you. He hears me, though. No, it's not a premiere. This is live, you guys. You're seeing this live in action. This is Mr. Adair. How old are you, Adair? 54. 54 years old. Thinks it's okay to marry a 13-year-old, kiss, cuddle, watch a movie, take care of her, love her for life. He already loves her. This is what happens. This is what happens. We're not out there saving real children, but this guy right here, here's the police hitter. Here's the police. How are you? Good. I'm Tommy with Colorado Pet Patrol. He was trying to meet with a 13 year old. Um, yep, no problem. He'll pull over. Okay. You want to go over here? Whatever he wants us to do. You you can do what you want. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm just gonna wait for him. Let him do his thing, you know? Yeah. I think this is just a drive by police and he just saw us and was like because we're still we're still on hold with the with the police department. Doing it there. I don't know. Somebody texted me. Oh. Something about that message. Oh, I don't know. Want to talk to him first or me first? Uh, you you live in this building, right? Yeah. Spell your last name for me. Germany, you like the country? What's the first name? Adair, A-D-A-I-R. And what's your date of birth? 10569. What's a good phone number for you? Uh, 30. I got two other numbers. One is on my tablet that I don't know. Okay. The, other, the other one's on my other phone, which is cut off. Okay. I have an ID. You got an ID? Oh, it's upstairs. All right. Uh, do you know the PIN number on your ID by any chance? You know your license number some people do? job coach that's giving me that's helping me get a job okay how about uh, any kind of counselor in here you got anybody um, I have a caseworker in here what's what's their name oh her name is uh, Michelle Thompson Michelle Thompson okay. and she only comes Thursday okay. any kind of phone number for, for Michelle uh, your caseworker like, I talked to her on the phone she she asked if if he no he talked about the caseworker here oh got no, you there's one got you got you well. got you you have a different one I got one that works at rail power. Oh, yeah, what's that person's name? Uh, Alright. Do you have a couple minutes? I, I need to yeah. speak to this gentleman. I, how you doing? Okay. So, what you got for me? This is the book for you. Got um, the book. Yeah, I got it kind of marked for you, too. Um, from start to finish. This is his profile. Me. Okay. He moves over to text now. Mm -hmm. This is your guys' book, obviously. Yeah, yeah. That's first contact where he reaches out to her. Obviously, he doesn't know her age. Sure. Um, they switch over to text now. Okay. Um, and then I put right here, this is where he, she says I'm 13, he confirms. Even today, um, he said um, they just kind of talk for a while. Mm -hmm. um, says he really likes her, wants to be in her life. Again, you can go slow as you want on this. Yeah. Asks her to come over, gives him the address, later gives the apartment number. Time frames are accurate? Um, 
Yes, they are. Um, when did these, these st conversations st it's been start? Tar it's been going on for... That's kind of what we have. Okay. That's just, I have a video right here, too, for you that I would give you guys. Um, yeah, am I able to send the link to the number uh, you just gave me or a different or an email? Yeah, you can send the link, um, but I'm also going to give you this as well. Are you going to give me the card? I'm going to just give it to you, yeah. Oh, all right. I went and bought a whole thing. This is, sometimes it's too big and we can't get it to you and then have to drive it down, so yeah, I'll yeah. do both if I have to. Uh, back to, back my to your apartment. apartment. Okay. Yeah, that, that's all. That's all I was going to do. Okay. Just go upstairs, and watch movies. Understood. If we need you for something, we'll come knocking. If that's all right. Okay. And, and just to let you know, I already told him. Oh yeah, he said that. I never done this before. I just happened to see this person who'll meet me, which I talked to older women. Uh huh. At this time, I did not know she was thirteen. Okay. She knew, she, I didn't know she was 13. She didn't even tell me that from the get-go when we first talked. Okay. And I just told this man right here, from now on, it's not going to happen anymore. Right. I just want to, I just want to stay in my apartment until my caseworker is about to move me out. Okay. I wanted to say, and this is going to sound weird, but I want to say thank you guys, I guess. I understand it's wrong. I don't understand why they're not taking me to jail. I should go. <laughs> but um, they'll be back in contact with me, they said. So um, thank you guys. It's no. It's no. I'm not going to give another reason for this to happen ever again. <laughs> We're out of here. Uh oh. You know the fucking police. Get on top. <laughs> another one. Another one bites the dust That's not And another one yeah. Another one Another one bites the dust Sit still. Another no. one yeah. Another yeah. one Another no. one bites the dust call it And another one Psych. Another one Another one bites the dust hey. Time to type to pull up at your house And read off your screen name account Make it come clean And even make it call your spouse So why don't you come on out and see what we're talking about We got your own camera But first, is anyone in the house? Look, we got your chat logs We got you by the balls And when the police pull up, we give them to the law It's the big homie Tom from Colorado He on the stroll Pulling up on bed from Colorado Bed Patrol the fucking police Another one Another one bites the dust That's not good. And another one Chill. Another one Another one bites the dust Sit still. Another no. one yeah, Another one Another no. one bites the dust we ain't gonna call the And another one Psych. Another one Another one bites the dust hey, hey. Nah, we not the police You can take off at any time But just know when you do that The cops gonna be on your line Come on, you bought booze and lose and condoms, dude Even sent dick pics with your face in them too He came to be the 12-year-old bundle of joy Your 51-year-old husband You desperate boy And let me guess, this is your first time You wasn't gonna do nothing I have never did anything like this I would never do anything okay. like this again But that ain't what the chat logs say You said you didn't care about the age you said you had your lube and condoms and you mm -hmm. gave me your address, mm -hmm. which you gave me your neighbor's address, by the way. And then we found you. Exposed you on YouTube and now we clown you. All the fucking police. Another one, another one bites the dust. That's not right. And another one, yeah. another one, another one bites the dust. Sit still. Another no. one, yeah, another one, another no. one bites the dust. Ain't gonna call the cops. And another one, Psych. another one. Another one bites the dust. Hey, hey, hey. Smash a like if you think this is fucked up.